Hello, everyone. Welcome to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. This week, I want to talk about a feature that maybe a lot of you haven't seen. Um, although this feature was introduced a couple of years ago, and I was really, really excited to see it, it kind of went away for a little bit. And uh, they made it kind of hard to find and hard to get, but now it's back in Dynamics. So if you're online and if you have Dynamics 365 for sales, you will be able to um, to enable this feature. And I, I really think it's a game changer for, especially for some organizations that depend heavily on the relationship they have with customers. All right. So that's what we're talking about today. So let me start by showing you first what an email looks like when you're composing it from Dynamics. So I haven't done anything to this trial environment. This is a brand new trial environment. So I'm just going to go and create an email here. So I'm just going to say, okay, so that email is going from Gus and Let's just do it with Abraham McCormick, which is one of the contacts out of the box in Dynamics. And I'm going to put together an email like new proposal or whatever. doesn't matter uh, what it is. So let me save this email. So when you save an email in Dynamics, you're creating an email in Dynamics. It's pretty basic. We all know how it looks. There's really no options. You know, recently they added this new editor that allows us to like embed pictures. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, but, but other than that, there's really nothing else to do. However, look, if you navigate into sales and then go to app or sorry, sales inside settings, there's an option here called email engagement. So click there and it's only an on or off thing. This is this is always off by default, but go ahead and turn it on. And it looks like you didn't turn on. It takes like a second for it to enable, but that's basically it. So you just enable it. You don't have to save it or publish or do anything. As long as you're integrated with Exchange, with Server Size Sync, especially if you're fully online, like if you're using Office 365 and Dynamics 365, this stuff works like a charm. It's perfect. So let's go back to our sales area. And look for our uh, new proposal email. There it is. And we just have to wait a little bit um, for the options to be enabled, basically. And what you're going to see is that some new options are going to show up. And I want to talk a little bit about what those options do as quick as possible. You notice that I didn't start a time countdown or anything on this one because I knew it was going to go over two minutes. All right, so here we go. So we have these three options here. This email engagement functionality will be added to your emails now when you're composing them, which is great. So the first one is you can follow whether a recipient basically opens the email. Like if you want to know if your customer or if you're, yeah, in this case, the person you're sending it to Abraham McCormick, like this is a prospect, maybe or a customer, whatever, you want to know if they open your email, for example, if they read it, that's awesome. So I can follow this and say, yes, I want to know when somebody opens my email, reads my email or whatever. Now, this is great because this now makes it available to any user in Dynamics. Email analytics are not a new thing. They've been around forever, but typically they were available. Those metrics were only available for marketing people. Like, are they reading our emails? Should we keep emailing them? Stuff like that, like open ratios and bounce ratios and whatnot. Like all those email analytics were available, but now these puts it in the hands of regular users, like salespeople, for example. Salespeople want to know if you're reading a proposal, right? This is really cool. So now I'll be able to get an email back saying, yep, your, you know, your customer uh, opened that up. Now, this is a great area here uh, because the customer doesn't really get like an open receipt or, you know, it's not like an Outlook thing. It's a Dynamics thing. So it, they don't they don't really get a question like, hey, you know, this Gus Gonzalez in this case wants to know if you read the email. Like they don't get something like that. So depending on where you are in the world, this may or may not be an option that you should be that you should enable. I know that in Europe, for example, and other continents, there's protection for that where you can't just know if somebody opened an email without asking them. So. I'm not saying everyone should enable this. I'm just showing you what the, the solution can do, and then it's up to you to figure out if this is legal or not. Uh, but it, this is some NSA-level stuff. All right, so now I'm um, following the recipient, right? Then you can also set an alert. So you can schedule the email to be sent at a later time. Now, the cool thing about this is that the system is not just dumb. It's not just going to um, you know allow you to schedule it, and that's it. Um, if it notices that you're trying to send this 
uh, like an odd time for this customer. Let's say, I don't know, they're on the East Coast and you're on the West Coast. Um, you know, based on metrics over time, like there's AI, there's an artificial intelligence component of this thing. It will start learning that if you send emails late in the day on the West Coast, let's say you live in Seattle, um, and uh, you know this person's in New York. Now you're sending something out, and it's or they're already off from work. They might not read it till the next day. Might get buried. So the solution will actually recommend that you delay it. It will say, you know what? based on where this person is located and prior history to them, um, I think we should hold up and send it in the morning, which is great because down in the middle of the night, like at 4 a.m. or whatever, your time on the West Coast, it will be 7 a.m. for your customer. They'll actually get the email. It will be at the top of their inbox. It's great. And then you can set a reminder for this email. So for example, you want to send an email out and say, I want to follow up in a week from now or something like that. You can set a reminder. Now, notice that there's multiple conditions here. Um, if I don't receive a reply by next week, I want to get a reminder. I can also say if the email is not open by this Wednesday or this Friday or next Tuesday, set me, you know, let me know, give me an alert or remind me regardless. Like, I don't care if they open it, read it, it doesn't matter to me. Let me know a week from now so I can follow up with them. This is awesome. And I contemplated just doing like one tip for each one of these options because I feel like each one of these can solve a very specific problem um, or, or it's a tip on its own. But I just felt like it made more sense to do the whole functionality all together. This is really cool stuff. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enable it if you have access to it and train your users, right? Train your salespeople on how to use this functionality because it really can be a game changer for your organization if it's on, if it's used properly and if it's legal to use. So let me just keep adding that because I know some of you are, you know, gung ho on enabling this stuff regardless. So, you know, disclaimer, don't try this at home. Check first. Um, but if it's legal, go for it. It's awesome. It's scary. Awesome. Check it out. Hopefully you enjoyed the tip this week and we'll see you next week.